Hey everybody, welcome to another Occasional Adventures with me and Mr. Aimless Adventures back up there behind me. So we are out here today um, near Lake Mead, kind of by the Lake Mead Recreational Area, um, just outside of Las Vegas. And we are coming up to this really quirky, I can't call it a roadside attraction because it's way off the road and pretty much nobody knows about it, but it's called the Wheel of Misfortune. So it's pretty cool. Let's go take a look at it. So to get here, you'll drive up Lake Mead, because there's there's the strip way out there. You'll come up Lake Mead Boulevard and park at this place. Um, it's the uh, bicycle rentals. And then just walk down the road, come up this fabulous hill, up this way. And then we'll be there in just a couple minutes. This area is right over the flight line that goes out to McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas. Say, I'm gonna have to use my Columbia like research tool to figure out what this is back here. Looks like there's some weird abandoned structures. There's this stuff over here, I'm not sure. Looks like a little top. Another one. Graffitied walls. This place is weird. If you decide to come out here, keep in mind it's always extremely windy and wear good shoes tennis shoes or hiking boots or something do not wear flip-flops or flats because the dirt is like black out here from all the oil and it's actually pretty soft you really want to watch your step hey we found it it's one of these weird things with the wall and I'm not sure but we found it All right, so a little bit of history on this place. This is the Three Kids Mine area, which is currently mostly dismantled and obviously closed, not operational any longer. But it was in operation between 1917 and 1961 or 62. Anyway, it was active um, mining manganese, I think is how you say it, not magnesium. Mang manganese. Anyway, I'll put some links in the description down below. But anyway, that's what they mined here. It was a very useful alloy that was used during World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Cold War era. Um, and then the government kind of depleted all of its resources and government contracts. Everything just shut down and, and closed up in 1962. But what somebody did with one of these weird, round, interesting mining things is turned it into the wheel of misfortune so let's take a look at some of the cool things they've got up here we've got on the dollars there's all zeros and let's look at some of the fun things that these are painted to say so hopefully you can hear me okay through the wind so on this one it says bank rob um yeah that one says bank rob and then we have lose a job um there is bank owned and then over here we have lose a home and this one says lose all hope and this one says aware that's the name of the um, artist who did this so pretty cool and then all the ones that have dollar amounts are all zero so this is what they call the wheel of misfortune it's kind of depressing but kind of cool and creative all at the same time so this is it if you're out in this area definitely come check it out it's pretty neat and this place has a pretty amazing history on a side note, check out the socks I'm wearing today. I literally had no clean socks whatsoever because I haven't done laundry in like a week. Look at the socks I'm wearing today. These are the only clean socks I own right now. My husband got these for me a few months ago when he was um, on a trip out of state. Yes. Happy little trees. Here's some entering interest... Here's some interesting remnants right here by the Wheel of Misfortune. I'm sitting up on the wall, um, and this is obviously parts of a building or something from the mining days. And if you walk this area, you'll see that. I mean, the dirt in, in a lot of places is black, really, really black from oil. The ground is very soft. There's lots of broken bottles and broken glass. So you always, you definitely want to watch your step out here um, and wear the right kind of shoes before you come out. Um, I can see, you can see it looks pretty cloudy. We're not expecting any rain today, but if it is actually raining um, because flash floods are so bad out here in the desert, you do not want to be out here when it's actually raining. But today it's just cloudy, so we're safe. 
the weather's actually pretty nice. But like I said earlier, it's always windy too. So if you have a microphone um, that you can attach to your camera or phone, definitely bring it and use it. You'll need it. And from up here, you get a pretty awesome view of the Las Vegas Strip. It doesn't pick up so well on my um, camera here on my cell phone, but if you have a better camera and it's a nice clear day, you'll definitely get some really neat shots of the Strip. You can get a good perspective of it. Wouldn't recommend coming out here at night, though. No, no. So I know it's really windy. I hope you can hear me okay. So I just approached this cool building. It's kind of an octagon shape. It's a giant pit. It's like two or three stories down and look at those tunnels. That is cool and scary. Look at this wood around these big cement things. It's like really old, beat down, splintering and very soft and gigantic nails sticking out. So like I said earlier, be aware of your surroundings and wear the right footwear. Here's just some more of the area. the Grand Canyon. Dang. What the heck? See if I can get a little bit of a closer look. Oh, dang. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a closer look. Now I can see the bottom like some burnt out car parts part of an old boat right there right there several parts of old boats tires 
Dang, that pit is deep. I don't know if you can get a sense of it from here, but it is deep. I'm probably a little crazy to stand right on, like right on the edge of this thing. I don't know if you guys can get a sense of just how deep this is. I'm standing kind of like a foot away from a very long drop, but this thing is deep, really deep. Like if I had to compare it to a building, I'd probably be a good 15, 18 stories up. It's, it's, uh, that's a rough guess. Well, that's pretty much all I've got for you. That's it. So come on out, enjoy your time out here, and come check out the Wheel of Misfortune. That was cheesy. All right, I will see you next time on the next occasional adventure. Ta-ta for now.